Sunday. It's uh, Sunday morning at about like I think 9 30 10 and um, I just thought I'd take the time to kind of share with you some of the new items that I've gotten in my closet. Um, I've been trying to kind of build up my autumn winter um, closet before it gets to winter. I mean I know there's going to be so much more items that are going to probably still be coming in store but um, I also like to just be prepared and just to know exactly what it is that I'm going to be wearing and what I, things that I need um, for my capsule wardrobe. So I just thought I'd show you some of the things that I've gotten in the last couple of days and um, some things that are, are in store obviously now and then others that um, are not in store but I can definitely link like similar items for you. So I thought I would just get started and um, let me know if you like this I can do more of these type of things for you if you want to so I think I guess I'll just start with what I'm wearing now this amazing um, vest knit vest v-neck is from poetry um, I will do some cutaways of me wearing this stuff so you can just see exactly like how it looks and what I will pair it with and stuff like that so because um, currently I'm also wearing um, these white jeans that I also got um, so I'll show you guys, you know, what that kind of looks like together and what I'd wear it with. But um, this jersey is honestly, it's so comfortable. It's so soft on your skin. Um, it's thick enough to the point where it will definitely keep me warm in winter, especially if I'm layering it with like maybe a long sleeve um, top underneath, um, even if or just a t-shirt. Um, and it's nice to layer because it's not bulky around the sleeve so you can wear like a blazer or a coat with it and not have your arms feeling too like that's the one thing i really don't like is feeling like claustrophobic in the clothes that i'm wearing but i obviously know with winter you need to layer so that's why i think a vest is such a nice um a knit vest is such a nice like addition to your wardrobe because you can feel warm in this like kind of area of your body but then have your arms at least not feeling too um yeah just like bunched up and stuff like that so yeah this is uh very very amazing i think i'm going to get a lot of wear out of this obviously now with the um very neutral tone it's going to be able to be worn with pretty much anything that's in my closet so that's this and it's from poetry and i will put the price also on the screen because i'm not going to remember every single thing um yeah is price like just out of my head and then um the jeans that i got um which you will see now they are a um wide legged they're supposed to be a cropped jean but because i'm on the shorter side um they're actually like the perfect long pair of jeans for me so obviously it depends on your height on how that's gonna fit you um, and then another thing i think i will also just say is like zara um, the, the, so the jeans are from Zara. They, um, I don't know, I feel like Zara's sizing is just, I don't know if it's a European thing or whatever, but the sizing for me is just like completely off. Um, I know that I love to run my clothing a size or two bigger because I like things to be a little bit more on the baggy side. But still, like I got the jeans from Zara in a size 40 
and they fit me like just a little bit baggy but they today they fit me so um i think that usually i'm like a 34 36 kind of an area so it felt like weird going up such um, a lot in size so that's why i would also say like when you're shopping don't necessarily shop for size because um i thought that i was a specific size and then i had to try on those pants like three or four times to try and get the size that i actually like wanted so don't get discouraged or feel like oh my gosh i am not this size anymore or i've put on weight or i've lost weight or whatever um just get whatever makes you feel good like get whatever clothing makes you feel like i look good in this now and then cut the label off of the sizing because it's really irrelevant and like zara's sizing is not the same i think as like most other places or most other shops that i've gone to yeah but these jeans honestly are so comfortable and i love the wide leg in them i love that they kind of just fall straight on me that's just like the side the style that i like and i know that i'm going to obviously get so much wear out of them and i think people sometimes tend to go oh can you buy white jeans in winter and like i think you definitely can because they're jeans it's a thicker material obviously and um so it will keep you warm but it is also it just brings like a little bit of a lightness to some of your outfits that tend to maybe run like darker in the winter you know you can buy those warm brown tones and the blacks and you i know that like i, I wear black i mean i wear black in summer so it's like um it doesn't really matter what color as long as i think the the mod the thing for me is like if you feel good in it then just wear it and if you like if you feel good you look good you know that's just really really it so those are those two items that i got um which are amazing and i know that i'm gonna love them like the whole the whole year really it's not just for the season but yeah um then the next two things i got were a black tea and a white tee just basics that i think everybody needs in their wardrobe um these are from h&m so you know i'm getting to a place where i mean i want to be able to invest in like really good quality um basics but to be honest with you i i don't really i haven't really found in south africa um anything that's good quality that i would feel comfortable buying um a really expensive t-shirt that's going to be 500 grand for a plain white t-shirt that, that i feel is like an investment if any of you know of any place in south africa that has that then let me know please because i'd love to know but for the moment i'm just buying h&m i think it was like 170 rand so i tend to wear these um a lot because you know I, they go with pretty much everything in my wardrobe so um, I like to stock up on having like quite a few or even if it's just like I wear these for a few months and then I will just buy them again and because they weren't so expensive I don't mind um, but if I can get my hands on a good quality white t-shirt that isn't see-through and it's just like I know that it's going to last me um, for a, a whole season or two seasons then um, I'd rather get that so let me know in the comments if you know of any way in South Africa that um, does have really good quality um, t-shirts and I will obviously be on the lookout as well and then if I find them then I'll let you guys know as well whenever I don't know what to wear then these come out and they save the day the very very exciting thing that I got is these pants these pants are from Zara they are a wide legged um, just trouser, very very wide. They're just kind of like straight all the way down. Really good quality as well. And I love the color. The color is just like this kind of greeny gray kind of a color. Um, so in some lights it looks gray, some lights it looks like a sage kind of green. And I'm obsessed with it. I love the way it fits. Also, it's with Zara. So um, I went up. I went to the medium so the, the, the sizing started at extra small and when i looked at it i was like the extra small looks so big and then i tried it and i was like okay, i'm definitely not extra small so then i went to medium and the medium fit perfectly um for me anyway um the only thing that i'm gonna have to get altered is the length because they're very very long but i'm so fine with that i'm so fine with getting things altered 
honestly like I'm gonna touch a bit more on that later on the altering and like why it's actually so um, worth it and it's worth the money and it's worth the time and it's worth the effort to get your clothes altered especially if you're someone that wants your clothes to last long and you want to wear something for more than one season you want it to last for years to come especially if you've invested in something that's really expensive but you're like i love these pants but if they just fit me then i would wear them more you know or you have something in your closet and you're like oh i can't wear it anymore because it doesn't fit me um don't give up on it just yet like go and get it altered it's it's totally worth your while um these pants are amazing i know that i'm gonna also wear them all the time i'm gonna probably have to find excuses not to wear these pants um and they're gonna go with yeah pretty much everything in my in my closet um and it's a good color especially it's it's like a warm gray you know it's still in the warm tones which i absolutely love and um yeah so these are from zara i'll put the price on the screen for you um then okay these trousers are probably my new favorite trousers the ones that i am going to wear pretty much every single day um and these are the ones that i had altered so this is from a local um store here in cape town um called atelier and um they have these um in store but they only had an extra extra large like 2xl and also really wide leg at the bottom i had these altered um at the waist and i had them altered at the length because short people problems for the length but for obviously the 2xl i had to get it taken in and these pants are such great quality they're thick but they're soft and they, they like flow really nicely um so they're just like the perfect pair of pants that i could see on the hanger was like i need these pants but then when i tried them on obviously i was drowning in them so i got them altered and now they are absolutely amazing and they fit like beautifully um i really 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 would recommend that getting pants altered anything altered to fit you is so important because things in stores aren't catered for every single body type as i'm sure you guys know like it's hard to go shopping it doesn't matter what size you are if you're a bigger person then you struggle with finding clothes because places like zara think that i'm a size 40 you know um it's just, and there's, there's nothing wrong with being a bigger size. It's just that you think as a person, oh, I put on weight or I've lost weight and you feel bad about yourself. But meanwhile, the store is just not, um, the, the, the sizing is not accurate, you know? And so I think if we can just start shopping more like about just what fits us and what makes us feel good, then the sizing doesn't have to be this thing that like lingers over us all the time um so yeah i got these and i made them fit to to my like specifications to my body type i mean i have a very small waist and i tend to and i have like a um bigger hips so a lot of pants also don't fit me correctly or the way that i want them to fit because i feel like a lot of pants are made for that very very slim woman that doesn't have hips and is just kind of skinny all around um, which is great if that is you and you find that you know trousers fit you perfectly then that's awesome um, but for me that's never been the case so I've always had to go bigger and then alter the waist for the waist to be smaller but then for the, the like thighs and hip area to just like fit me as well um, so yeah um, I really would recommend don't give up on your pair of trousers or when you see something in, in and you're trying on in the changing room, kind of try and envision it to the way that you want it to fit you and not like, okay, cool, this doesn't fit me. So now I'm not going to just make that little bit of an effort to just go get them tailored. And, and then actually in the long run, it's worth your while. So that's my, my opinion on that. <laughs> then the next thing I got is from H&M. It is this quilted sleeveless waistcoat um in a beige color and it's really long extra length it's kind of like below my knees even um this is 
honestly i think like waistcoats obviously they're really big for this season um having the waistcoat i just think it's like really nice for layering and like i've said like it's just nice to have something that keeps you warm in the right areas but then you have your arms free and you feel like you can still i could still wear this with like a like a polo neck underneath this for winter and then um still put a coat over this and then not feel like this is like too bulky um and then in summer or autumns any any like um season actually i can wear this and just put like a t-shirt like one of my plain white or black tees i can put that um layer that underneath and then it's a nice summer look and i can pair it with some shorts or um whatever like it's very very versatile so i'm excited to, to keep styling this to finding new ways to styling it for winter and like I mean, it's it's kind of getting to autumn now, even though it's still hot. Um, so it's actually going to be nice to still style it in like a summer way. But I mean, winter, I think it's going to be really, really fun to style this. Um, and then the next thing I got was a jersey, um, a jumper from Poetry. Uh, it's just a very, very plain, beautiful quality, thick, um, like, yeah winter there's no getting around that this is like a winter jumper because it's honestly very very warm but what i love about this it's just, it's just it's super plain in its style very straight there's no like curves over here um which is what i love and um what i love about this is that it's so nice to also accessorize over your clothing so if i had to wear like a plain shirt i could just throw this over my shoulders or um yeah it's just it's a really nice accessory to wear and as well as a staple to put in your wardrobe and also what i liked about this is the color is that it's um still a very neutral color i still think that green is quite like a neutral um obviously not a bright green but just kind of like a dark foresty kind of a green um it still kind of puts a bit of color in your wardrobe without it being like too much and then also it goes with Pretty much everything else that is in your wardrobe as well because it is also an earthy neutral color so that's what i loved about this and um so i mean anything like even if you don't get this exact jumper this one's from poetry and it is in store now but even if you don't get this exact one um i would just invest in getting a plain jumper whether it's black beige gray um, in my case, I got the green because I have other, I have um, jumpers in the other colors. So it was nice to be able to like, once you have those staples, to just be able to get something that's slightly different that you can accessorize and just like have a bit of fun with in your wardrobe. Um, and then um, the next kind of like big item that I got was the puffer jacket. So the puffer jacket is literally everywhere now sleeveless cropped long short like matte gloss like it's just everywhere this whole quilted puffer jacket is just gonna be everything um and i got this on sale so um but i don't think that you're gonna struggle and i will leave links below for like other places but i got this from atelier and they are coming up out with new puffer jackets for their winter but this was from their old season and i just loved it because i love the matte um texture on it and then also it was an extra extra large let me see it is yeah 2xl so um i like the way that it fit i like that i can wear tons of things underneath this and um it will keep me warm and it's also got a hood over here so but i like that i don't have to have the hood because i don't really love hoods that much and i like i want to be able to maybe wear this with something else like over this and not have to have the hood like kind of just like dangling there so it's nice to be able to like just hide it into the zip and just have it there but then if you know for practicality if you need to have a hood then it will come in handy still um and it's also nice to just have a jacket this one's uh, just like normal length it's not like extra length and i just i have got two coats this winter that are like very long so it's nice to just have a nice practical jacket for the cold days and um just have a little bit of a different style and again it's in this green color because it's different um uh, but yet it will go with so much 
um, and it just goes with the kind of color palette that my closet is currently in which kind of happens to just it just was like not planned but happens to be like greeny beigey kind of colors um so yeah that's just basically it and um those are the newest items in my closet that i've gotten for the season um let me know if you like how, how i've styled them i hope it's helped you to maybe um kind of build your wardrobe as well and yeah i can totally do more of these every month and it, obviously it's not gonna be that i'm getting new things every month it will just be how i style my wardrobe and the things that i have and that i've um yeah, been building up for the last couple of years by no means is it to brag or to like show be showy because i actually really don't like that and that's why I've, I've kind of been putting it off to do these type of things because i sometimes people it can come across as a little bit like braggy and oh look what i got but i actually genuinely want to help you guys i really want to show you what you can style things with how you can make use of your wardrobe make the most of what's in your wardrobe but like by altering and that kind of thing so um, it by no means is it that you have to get the items that I have, but at least just get the styles. If you like this knit, then if you can't get it at Poetry, you can get it somewhere else. And um, so I will link, leave links below for like those type of things. Um, if you're wanting something that is more of a luxury item that you want to invest, you want to spend a couple of thousand rand on, um, because you know you're gonna um, have it for many years to come or if you're just like well i can't afford that but i still want the look then i will leave those kind of options for you as well i was feeling a lot lot better like last week i was man down like it, i literally thought that i was going to die um that's how sick i was but there is a bug going around and so i caught the bug so it really wasn't fun and um the week was a bit of a slow start because i kind of was just you know, still feeling really low energy and feeling like it's not gonna i don't know if i'm gonna be able to vlog again this week because of how i was feeling but i i eventually you know i got myself together and um i was able to um create some content for you guys so I'm feeling 100% better this week and I'm so 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 happy for that. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this vlog and I hope you did and I will see you guys next week. See you!